Welcome to a tutorial on how to work with locations in Dramatify. In some screenwriting and scheduling applications, the terms set and location are used quite interchangeably. In Dramatify, however, they are two very different things. Sets are the theatrical scenery, the set construction where the action takes place. Locations have GPS coordinates. You can have many sets at one location, like at a big soundstage, but you cannot have many locations for one set. If that's the case, you need to add more scenes to your script, since the general principle in screenwriting is that a scene shouldn't require moving the camera. Usually, you have added sets to your production before starting on locations, so make sure to watch our tutorial on sets, where we talk more in depth about them. Dramatify offers three different types of locations. Shooting locations, unit base and medical emergency. All of these can be displayed in the call sheet and includes automatic links to maps and driving directions. The automatically added rolling 10-day weather forecasts are updated every third hour and are based off the shooting location. Since you can use up to five different teams per day, that means that you can shoot with correct locations and weather updates in five different continents if you wish. To add a new location, you click on Locations and then on the Edit menu in the toolbar. Select Add Location. You must add a location name and a location type, shooting location, unit base or medical emergency. It is only shooting locations that are linked to sets. Unit base is the base for all activity where the shooting location do not have enough space or facilities to be a convenient choice as the base for all shooting activity. If you do a documentary production or a studio production, you will rarely have the need for a unit base. For the documentary, you usually have a small nimble team that do not require the manpower or facilities a big feature production need. For the studio production, the studio already have the staff space, prep space, storage, parking space and other facilities in the building that the unit base usually offers. A medical emergency location is however a good idea for any production. It simply indicates the nearest or preferred medical emergency facility. You might also want to add the phone number to the regular emergency services in the provided information space in case of a serious emergency. Here you can also add any production insurance information you want to be on hand. Any text you add to the info field will be published in the call sheets. This means that you can update this as you go along, first with requirements for location scouts and set designers, then with to-do lists for safety, electricity and other practical concerns, later prior to the shooting day, with updated road conditions, parking instruction and any other information for the arriving team. When adding the address, the most important part is being thorough. If you can find a correct street address, use that. Sometimes that isn't possible because the place might not have an address, either because the location is in a white spot not well covered by address registers and maps, or because there is no address since you are shooting out in the wilderness. You can solve this by adding an address close by, for example a nearby town or village. Add that in the address field and hit find position on map. When you have found that position, you can use the map controls and click where your shooting location is. In the example here, I search for Ammanes, which is a small village in the Swedish Lapland wilderness. From Ammanes, I click on satellite and get satellite images to easier find our shooting location in a roadless wilderness where only reindeers live. If you should click in the wrong place, just click again to correct it. Now underneath the map you will see the correct GPS coordinates for the location. Click to save your new location. When you want to connect existing sets with the location, you go to Sets, click on the first set you want to add the location to and use the Edit menu in the toolbar to select Edit Set. On the Edit page, you simply use the drop-down menu underneath Location to select the set's correct shooting location. I'd like to give you a tip which can make pre-producing easier for sets and locations. You don't actually need a selected and confirmed shooting location or unit base to add them to Dramatify. Instead, you can see the adding of locations in stages. If you roughly know what kind of locations you need, you can create placeholder locations that you later refine. If your production requires some scenes shot in the studio, you create a soundstage location but hold off adding the exact address. Instead, you might write your requirements for the soundstage as information to your location scout. You then connect all sets that should be shot there with the location.
if a scene should take place in a forest, you create a location called forest and add the local requirements and then connect the set. Later, when you have found your perfect forest, you change the location name to the actual place name and add the address or GPS coordinates. This means that you can get a fairly complete list of all the locations you need, with the requirements they should meet, and sets and scenes already connected. As locations are decided and booked, you just go back in and add addresses or GPS locations. In the location list, you will then see exactly which have confirmed locations and which do not. All of your team have access to the scene list. This means that they can check out and research the location beforehand using Google Maps. Click the location link and you'll see the map of your chosen location. Click on Earth to see the satellite images of the location. Click on the pin to bring up a link to Street View images. Click on the Street View image to get Street View. Click on Back to Map to get back to the map and get driving directions from your current location. The scene list is ultra sortable so you and your team can easily find exactly the scenes you are looking for. As an admin, you also have access to the breakdown report with sets and locations. The report can be viewed and printed for the entire series, screenplay, episode or scene. Finally, for most of your team, the call sheet is likely the most important document when it comes to locations. Under the location headline, you find all locations with info. Your team members need just to click the link to get the map and driving directions from their current location in the mobiles. You can also update with manual driving directions, road conditions and parking directions. At Scenes and Set, you find the exact set and location for each scene. And under Weather, you have a 10-day rolling weather forecast for your shooting location that is automatically updated every third hour. That's all for now. Be sure to also watch our tutorial on sets, since that is tightly tied to locations. Thank you for dramatifying your production.